So today's task will be to um, uh, reinstall the driver's side instrument panels. Uh, you may have had them off because you're fixing rattles, you're trying to get something else fixed underneath, but ultimately you're going to need to put them back. So um, uh, while I had them off the car, uh, I took an opportunity to clean them really well. So I used some um, leather cleaner. This happens to be Meguiar's Gold Class uh, Rich le Leather Cleaner Conditioner. Um, and I applied that and then used the, uh, a clean microfiber towel to uh, uh, give everything a really thorough um, scrub and conditioning. Uh, you can really get into your vents and everything else while you've got it off the car. So um, anyways, time to start putting it back in. I'm getting ready to uh, reinstall the driver's side uh, uh, instrument panel covers. And this is a, before you put your panels on, it's one last good time to make sure you tighten up um, all the screws that you can see uh, to stop anything from rattling. And uh, I uh, used a, a damp microfiber and I wiped off all the dust uh, that might have been accumulated under the panels. So um, time to put the panels back in. So first up, I want to install the um, uh, panel that, uh, up by the windshield. It's held in by three screws and uh, snaps in by one, two, three, four clips at the very back edge. So um, the only tools you're really going to need for putting the uh, driver's side uh, instrument panel back together are a Phillips screwdriver. So pretty simple on the tool side of things. Alright, so I'm going to just get it up into position and align the clips. Uh, so when it lines up, it goes in easy. So now I'm going to start the uh, Phillips screws. And uh, anytime you're putting in screws like this, just get them all started loosely to begin with before you uh, start torquing anything down into a final position. And the last one way over here on the right. Tough to see, but... Now that I have them started, I'm going to give them a good tighten. Always a little trickier with a stubby screwdriver. But you don't want any dash squeaks or rattles, so make sure you snug them down. Just don't break them off, of course. Next up, I want to install the uh, the right side um, panel, and just to refresh your memory, this actually has five clips: one, two, three, four, five. And instead of pushing down from the top, it actually pushes forward. So you get it in line, and maybe you can get the camera angle in there. So I'm going to line, lay it into place loosely, and then. I need to not go down, I need to actually drive forward towards the windshield with it. Just take your time and try and make sure you got your clips in where they're supposed to go. If you aren't sure, just do it over. And then, there we go. The next piece is the left side of uh, the instrument cluster. Again, one, two, three, four clips. Same as the right side, instead of going down, you actually push forward. So uh, make sure uh, that your foam around your uh, air ducting is uh, in place. And then just you know, get everything roughly positioned. Sure, just make sure to take the time and check. There we go. It's a little 
little bit by feel, you'll just suddenly feel everything sort of come together. It seems like getting the bottom ones lined up first and giving them a bit of a push, then the top falls into place is the way it's been working. Yep, that's in. Next up is the instrument binnacle cowl, and this actually has, a, for some reason, a safety strap. And then it has four, six connectors, and this one's a push down. First thing we have to do, though, is we have to get the uh, screw in on the uh, safety connector, which is just the oddest thing that even has one, but... It's not like this is a grounding strap or anything else, it's fabric. <laughs> and that's snug. Next is just line up all six connectors. And then it's just push straight down. I'm going to do the back first, and then the front. And that's that. Hey, it's starting to look like a dash again. The last piece is the uh, lower dash panel. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven connectors. Um, and if you can get down here with the camera, there's actually this little, I don't know what this port is, there's actually a little hanging, if you see over where my hand is here, uh, some little connection that kind of sits over this. So I'm going to sort of line that up to begin with. It's probably just going to naturally line up, but... With that said and done, in just a few minutes you've reassembled your uh, uh, driver side uh, instrument panel. So it should be looking all shiny and new again. Of course the real proof in the pudding will be taking it out for a drive and seeing if you got any new squeaks and rattles. <laughs> Which is always the threat, right? Alright, well hopefully that helps you with your project.